And welcome back. Um, in the final part of our series on board portal services, we're going to be talking about the support element of the services on offer. So Charlie, what sort of support is available to diligent customers? Frankly, I think it's exemplary. It's an extremely strong part of what we provide. The company would have an individual account manager who they would know well over time, and that person would be the primary responsible for their business. Supporting that account manager, there are other account managers, and then there are our technical support team. It's a long way from being a call centre. They're based in our office, they're our employees, they're all well trained, they know the service very well indeed, and actually they get to know the customers as well. We have them in London, we have them in New York, and we have them in New Zealand. So we have a follow the sun principle of support. Charlie, would you describe Diligent as a technology company or a service company? As far as the customers are concerned, we're a service company. Underpinning that, there's a very strong technology base. The support element's interesting, isn't it? Because I guess you're, you're serving two customers in a sense. There's the directors who are actually using the system day to day, and then there's the IT people at your client companies. Do they get different levels of support? Do they need different types of support? Actually, I would say that our customers are the company secretariat team who are producing the books, and then the directors and executives who are receiving the books. We typically don't need to support the IT team at all. As to whether they get a different level of support, no, they get exactly the same level of support. It's exactly the same standard for both of them. So if I'm a director on the road and I run into a problem with the service, I can get instantaneous support on, on the end of the phone. I don't have to wait for a call back or until London wakes up, for example. It's the magic of technology. They're able to call their local number and it will bounce to the appropriate part of the world, world where there will be a warm person able to answer their questions. Do you find most of those questions are from people who aren't necessarily so tech savvy or are they technical difficulties? What, what tend to be the kind of support that people need most often? They run the gamut. They run the range. In many cases, I've forgotten my password. Please help me reset my password. I've bought a new iPad. How do I download the app? Extending then through to more complex questions around certain aspects of the service which are sophisticated and therefore may not be used day by day. Okay. And what kind of support is there for people during the transition process, which I guess is when a lot of people are going to be first getting used to this technology and maybe having difficulties with it that they won't have when they're more familiar with it later on? The hand-holding from the account managers is very strong. They go on-site, they meet the customers, they sit with them, they work with them, they look at the processes of flow of information in that business itself and train them as to how they would use our service to meet that need. So Presumably, once that transition period has finished, then you would expect the need for support to, to fall off almost to zero. It depends, customer by customer. Um, customers do different things. They change the personnel, then you go back and retrain them. They may add people, in which case you need to train them. There may be a degree of forgetting. But equally, our service expands and gets stronger and deeper release by release. And we have many releases a year of our software to, to drive greater functionality. And we would then go back and visit the customer and teach them how to use this additional functionality which we've just released. But just to be clear on this, Charlie, the support is part of the package. This isn't something that clients have to pay an additional premium for. They don't pay per call, for example. Our customers get one price for everything. We absolutely do not charge them for more visits, for more storage, for more meetings or any other aspect. It's a concierge level of support to meet all of their needs. And one of the aspects of the business that I'm personally most proud of is our retention rate. Over the last eight years, we've retained 97% of our customers worldwide. And in EMEA last year, we didn't lose a single customer. That means that all the customers we had in January, we had in December. And not many businesses, truthfully, can say that. And you think that's primarily about the support on an ongoing basis that you're offering these clients, as well as the, the product itself? Actually, I think it comes back to the three S's that underpin what we provide. The security is extremely high, and companies appreciate that. The service is very simple to use, and therefore we don't really have problems. And then the support is exemplary, so we're able to keep the hands held of all of our customers. Brilliant. Well, Charlie, that's an excellent place to finish, I think. So let me thank you very much for your time in talking us through this thank technology. Um, let me thank you too, Chris, for your input. Um, thank you very much.